can purchase uh, the vault techs. They've got all sorts of five random cards in them. Uh, and then, um, then we've got the uh, pet uh, carriers right here. Um, oh, and then Mr. Handy's. You can buy Mr. Handy's. But I bought 40 of these for $19.99. Um, sometimes you get there on sale for half off. Uh, last couple weeks ago, I bought a uh, thousand of the new cola bottles um, for $49.99 normally, $99.99. But I'm gonna open these 40 and see what we get. Um, hopefully, something we get, something cool. Let's see what's in this one. Kitty cat. So pepper, eight percent crafting cost. I will probably um, junk that one. <laughs> Scrapper. Sorry, kitty. Oh, this is a neat looking cat. It's an Asa cat. Eight percent wasteland weapons and outfits. That's cool. I'm hoping to get some more um, pets that I don't have. Um, Licorice. Three times red healing speed. I think that's a um, rare card. Let me show you really this real fast. Um, pets. No. That's the pets I have. That's not what I want to show you. I want to show you this. Stats. Pits. Um, so I have 48 different kinds of pets and it looks like there's 98 so there's all these pets that I've never gotten um, look at all these legendary ones so uh, yeah, I kind of, kind of hoping that I get some uh, cool pets. That's where I'm going with that. <clears throat> uh, we're getting a feral ghost attack here. I mean, uh, where are we gonna meet? This is where they're gonna die. So we'll put that there, so we can watch that. Maybe a little closer. Should happen right about there. And oops. Well, that wasn't very well planned, was it? I'm not really concerned about these feral ghouls. Oh, come on, buddy. Just come over here and let's get it done. These guys are pretty well equipped. Everyone's trained up and I got a plasma gun. I got some stim packs. It looks like they looks like they're pr pretty well beat up from that. All right, this is my first line of defense. Anytime I get a raider, so we have to keep these guys taken care of. Radiation stim pack. Yeah, they have. Pl he's got a plasma gun. Um, level 46. MIRV 22-27, not a bad weapon to have, especially in defense. Looks like a junk jet. It's a tactical junk jet, 15 to 19. And SP-92, you know, while I'm here, I'm going to change this guy's names to Le yeah, Legend what about LB. LB-2, or just L LB-2. Yeah, legendary. Um, and he's he's got an excited rifle, so he's got the bad gun gun in the room at 15 to 18 in damage. Pretty cool. Um, so anyway, we are in the middle of opening pets. I apologize, we got sidetracked. Let's see what we get here. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping just to get a lot of pets that I've never got. These are only crafting. Yeah, 24%. That's really good. Um, that might be like the third or fourth best crafting time I have. So that definitely get used. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping to get a bunch of those pets. There's almost half of them I don't have. Um, I have one of these guys. 
cute little kitty cat, little Persian, 26% happiness. It's really low, um, but it'll I'll, it'll work. We'll put it on somebody who's you know got like a 75 or percent happiness, and it'll make them 100%. Um, damage resistance. That's a nice one to have. Those are neat cats. I have one of those though. Um, I'm not even sure it said Abyssinian or something. If you know, you can comment. Coco. Coco! 30% uh, damage resistance. Those are really nice to have. That means every time they hit you, it's 37% of the damage is absorbed by Coco. So good on quests. Um, good on sending someone out to the wasteland. I guess even in like front line, um, that front line defense like I have over there in that room. Scout. Two times of collision. All right, here's the deal. I'm kind of new to this. I do not know what that means. I haven't looked it up. I haven't Googled it. I've put it on um, a couple guys during quests. Um, haven't noticed um, any difference. Um, I haven't haven't seen I haven't seen it work. I actually have a three times, so um, that guy's a little less. These are normally um, experience points. Yeah, seven percent. That's a good one. This pet is normally a crafting pet, I think. No, a health. All right. I wonder if I was really bad, or maybe they're different. They tend to be the same thing. Um, the pet tends to be um, wasteland. No healing speed. Okay. Uh, the, the pet tends to have the same. What do you call that? Um, Attribute, um, bonus, same bonus, bonus. The pet tends to have type of bonus. Now the number might be different. You know, so this might have been three times or four times, um, or the percentages. Um, but typically, it, at least that's that's what it seems like. That seems there, but it's also I say that, and, I, and there's like multiple pets that have some different things. So maybe that's not always true. I don't know if I have one of these. It's like a little boxer or something. Winston, thirty percent experience. Wow. Okay, that's huge. That means um, that for every one experience point someone gets while they're maybe out of the wasteland or on a quest, and they're trying to level up, they get 1.3, so get an extra 30%. That's really big. I think that my highest prior to getting Mr. Winston here was only like 6 or 7%, so that's really exciting. I don't know if this is a legendary or if this is just a rare pet, but cool. Definitely new to me. And he's neat looking too. Wow, look at this dog. That's a neat looking dog. So this is Hulk. First time I've ever gotten one of these. Okay, so first, let's go back. Winston obviously is a um, rare pet, not a legendary pet, because Hulk here is a legendary pet. Notice the yellow. Uh, the yellow indicates um, that he is a legend. There he um, blue is indicative of rare, and green is the more common pets so um value what have you plus six damage this is actually the third one of these i've gotten but not with hulk it's with um two parrots um not remember i think pirate parrots or something but um we can look at them later but this is a pretty cool looking guy i wonder what kind of dog that is it's like a uh i don't know it looks pretty badass though i've got one of these I don't remember what they are for though. Radiation healing speed. Siamese kitty. I do love the kitties in this. Look at this one. He's kind of like a stripy tiger thing. American short hair plus 12% wasteland caps. That's really, really a low end um, percentage for wasteland caps. We've got ones way higher, 60s, 70s. Um, probably not something we'll want to use. All right, which what we got here? The Abyssinian, 21% damage resistance. I like these. These are good ones to throw on somebody when you're throwing them out at the wasteland. Um, throw 25 stim packs and 25 uh, rad packs on them, and um, throw one of these kitties. Or uh, I've got a lot of damage resistance comes from the parrots too. Um, so yeah, cool. Whoa, what is that? That is cool. This is new. Brand new. Nudge the legendary one. All right. This is genius. 25% twins chance. Wow. 
I have never, I've, I've read about this. I've read about this in forums that there is twins. Um, that's pretty cool because uh, I've got a big breeding program coming up. Um, interesting. That's going to be a, a difficult decision um, going for twins um, because I also have a uh, couple pets that give me plus two on the special for children. So it's plus two child special, I think is what the actual reading on the card is. And what that does is when you have, you equip that pet with the woman who is pregnant, and when you click the little, you know, pregnant button, uh, every stat for that child that's born gets plus two. So, you know, a typical stat for a child is going to be one to three. Um, one of those specials, one of the seven specials will be a three, and the rest of them, I think it's a total of 14 points, I think you get, um, for 12 points, I think. I think you get 12 points for a new kid. A normal, a normal new kid is 12. So this gives you a plus two for each one. So plus two times seven is 14. So instead of getting at 12 points, um, starting off with your new child, with your child, instead of starting off with only 12 points, which isn't very much, you get an extra 14 with this card if it's equipped. So that's now you're starting off with 26 points. On the, so obviously um, that's much better. Uh, and so I equip that quite often. Um, but also. Uh, there's a chance when you breed people that have specials um, where they're trained up to 10 on all spe all the special attributes um, or skills uh, that if you breed them together, so that's 70 total points each, if you breed them together then you can get these legendary children and I've um, successfully bred about 21 legendary children um, which is something I'm going to do but what I do is I equip that plus two child card with pet with the woman when even so the legendary children on top of already being legendary with numbers they get another 14 points on top of that so they come out like I don't know we'll have to add it up sometime but they come out with something like uh, 40 points or something like that instead of your standard 26 well your standard is 12 so I get my standard has been 26 here um, uh, until I got these uh, started reading these legendary kids and now it's like Occasionally it's 40, and the odds of getting them, uh, they're only, it's only about 10, 15%. So you're doing some bulk breeding there. So again, I don't know if I'll use this or not, um, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try it out for sure. So let's see what else we got. Plus that cat was really cool looking. I like the black on its side and what have you. I don't remember what it was called. It was called Genius, wasn't it? These are cool. Um, this gives you extra odds of getting weapons and outfits. Neat looking cat. It's like a kind of like a Doberman Pinscher maybe. So if you three times healing speed. Um, do you see how that card was blue in the background? That was a rare card. Three times healing speed means your guy heals faster in battle. I guess that's good. Wow, 17 time. Okay, these are really neat. So Bella. Um, is that like a Britney Spaniel maybe or Springer? I don't know. Uh, so craft. So 17% off crafting time and cost. Not A lot of the times you see these cards would be like 70% off just crafting time or 70% off crafting cost. Um, so this is really cool. This is a great card. Um, that's a pretty solid number. Uh, I definitely have stuff in the 20s for crafting time I cost, but I have a lot of rooms I run, um, and I definitely this room, the card can will be used. So here's the 20th one. It's another Siamese. Pugsley. Three times radiation healing speed, another rare card, so that's cool. Another British shorter two time healing speed. This is just a common card. Obviously, common is the most common. You have rare, and then you have legendary. Yellow is legendary. Now, so here's a legendary card. So four times healing speed. So we just got a two times, which is common. Obviously, then I guess three is the rare, and then we've got four times, which is ashes. So it's like what the third or fourth legendary card we've got. This is really good. Um, 
There's been plenty of packs where I've gone through and did not get very many legendary cards. I just got another one. So another legendary card because it's yellow. Let me see that. 20, minus 26% crafting cost. So that what that means is when I go and I want to build an outfit or a gun, um, typically if you're building legendary outfits or guns, they cost in the 20,000, 15,000 to 20,000 caps. So this would be 26% off that cost, which is a nice, healthy um, discount. You know, Just imagine going to a uh, to your favorite uh store, you know, GameStop or something, and uh, you're about to buy a $100 game, and they say, hey, because of that Goliath pet you got with you, we're going to give you 26% off. That's 26 bucks. They're going to give you $26 off. So now that game just costs you $74 out of 100 That's a pretty big savings. Um, you know, save me um, maybe 5,000 caps per uh, gun or outfit I build. Um, so definitely something we'll equip and use uh, in our main rooms. Wow, what is this? I don't think I have one of these. Main Coon. Huh. So, 8% training time. So, this is, um, would be equipped to, uh, I will equip this, in fact, when I finish up, uh, to someone training. And it'll just cut down on the amount of time it takes, 8%, in fact, uh, for them to train um, up their skills. Another Siamese. So it's just a common card, um, two times radiation healing speed. Nice golden retriever, wasteland weapons outfits. It's a nice card. It's a common. Um, I will use it though. I like weapons. I like outfits. The better the odds, the better the odds, right? So here's a rare one, Sassafras, 65% Wasteland Junk. Um, I think uh, earlier we saw a uh, Wasteland um, Caps card in the 20s, uh, but just show you that the, the rare ones will be in the 65s. Even though this is junk, this could just easily have been a Caps card. <clears throat> Ooh, wow, I've never seen this before. I bet this is legendary. Yeah, oh, Pip. Three times objective completion. All right. Again, uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know when to use it. I don't know where to use it. Awesome. Um, I actually have a three times objection completion. It's called dog meat. It's a dog. <laughs> uh, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so this is my second one of three times. So I have two legendary ones of these. I think I have one rare one, which we got a minute ago in this pack. Um, but I don't know where to use them. So if anyone can tell me, that'd be awesome. So the way still with pinchers, common card, two times healing speed. Let's see, this is green. Alright, these are the damage ones I've got in the past. Um, yeah, plus two damage. Okay. So bow. So this is a plus two. I actually have some plus sixes. And then we got one in this deck too, so I actually have multiple. Um, but this is a rare one. German pointer, common two times radiation healing speed. Uh, I I tend to give too many or more. Uh, oh, this is good. We talked about this a minute. I'm just gonna talk about radiation. Uh, I tend to give way more red pack rad packs than necessary. Um, I normally just give 25, 25 when people walk out the door um, to the wasteland. Uh, and they always come back with plenty of radiation packs. So I don't typically use any of the pets that have any radiation. It just doesn't seem to be any real issue. Um, so I, whether or not it's a legendary or rare or even a common one, I just don't really just get rid of them or I just leave them. I don't actually get rid of the pets. I kind of like them. I just let them stack up. But eventually I'll have to get rid of some of these. So this is a plus one child special. So if you equip this to a woman who is pregnant, before you click on the little you know, deliver the baby symbol above her, a little baby face. Um, she will deliver you a baby and every one of the special skills, S-P-E-C-I-A-L-S, strengths, 
perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, we'll have plus one. So instead of being born with 12 total points of skills between the seven, uh, she, the child will be born with an extra um, seven. So it'd be, what, 19, which is pretty cool. I won't ever use this card. I have a couple plus twos. So, um, but still, cool card. Look at this little awesome cat. Another weapons outfit. Another common card. <clears throat> Croquette. Training time. Oh, wow, that's really impressive. I don't believe, honestly, that I have one with that. Uh, maybe I have one, but that's a really, really high. Most of my training times ones, I think we got an 8% one, which was earlier. Um, most of mine are in that range, you know, 6%, 8%. That 8% might even have been higher than some of my others. So this is really a good card. I don't, I don't know. My gut says I might have one more that might be around this or higher. But this is still a really, really exciting card. I have a lot of people we're training. We'll equip that right away. Look at this dog. It's like a husky or something? That's awesome. Yeah. So that's a husky. It's 1.25 waste on return speed. It just means when you return from the wasteland, you just come back that much faster. Extra 25% faster. Um, I rarely would use a card like this. There's just so many other th things you can get out of a benefit. I mean... I don't know. Another common card. Nice, cute little golden retriever. Another one right behind. Another common golden retriever. See how they tend to be the same thing? That was the exact same. It was just a different percentage. Uh, I think nine instead of eight. Oh, here's a legendary mutt face. I don't understand what that means. So Mutt Face gives me 28% training time, so faster. But it says continuous. <gasps> oh, really? Do you think you know what that means? Comment in the in the um, section below if you think you know what that continuous means. I think I know what it means. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so what I think it means is instead of having to click um, on top of your guy who's being trained uh, when he finishes training before he'll continue to gain experience, you know, so if you're level 7 and you finish your training for agility at level 7, you don't start training then for level 8 until um, the overseer, which is you, me, uh, comes through and clicks the little green, you know, level up. A button and then you start training for level 8 I think when you equip this car you don't have to click that button so that means that it's continuous training which means um, I don't have to log on to you know on here every you know 6, 8, 10, 12 hours however often I do it's, I try to do it every 12 hours um, but sometimes I log on more often um, this morning I did something with my guys where I moved all the lowest, their lowest attributes into the into the rooms, and then I just spent a little extra time um, today logging on real quickly and going through and leveling them up every couple hours. Um, worked out really well. Uh, anyway, I was going to have a little bit of time to do that, and so I just took that opportunity. Um, but this guy would be great on somebody who you don't really have to ever worry about. So I'm um, very excited about it. We'll find out if that's how if how it actually works, but it just seems to make sense. It's the last one. 40 pets. I've gotten some great ones. The golden tree. This will be a weapons and outfits in the wasteland. Yeah, seven percent, another common one. We got at least I mean three in the last maybe ten cards, so yay. But that's all of those. Let's go look at the um at my pets now. Um Yeah. It looks like they got this handled. All right. 
see how this morning I, I I normally would have you know that many people all at once and all day I mean but I, I put everyone in um, to be trained based on their lowest skill number and they're just leveling up left and right today uh, that has nothing to do with training that was just a regular level up in an outfit room but here's the pets without further ado all right there's mud face hey yeah we don't want to sell mud face we don't want to sell anybody um i got all these cool new pets it's exciting genius Hulk what's the what is short hair shh don't tell anyone I wish someone could tell me what this means how where to use this when to use it I've used it on quests I've used it in the wasteland I think um, I've used it fighting raiders. I mean, it doesn't seem to make anything that have to do with objective. The only objective I can think, the only place where it says objective is on quests. You know, it says, you know, complete objectives. So it seems like, I mean, I would think that would be a multiplier. Like, whatever you're supposed to get from the objective, you get twice it. But I don't know if it refers to caps or to weapons and outfits too and experience. I don't know what it means. So um, I've used it multiple times on quests, and I still... I'm excited about that one. That's a really good one. I'm just really interested in um, using it. I ah, like all these golden retrievers. Ugh. They're so cute. I need to get rid of some, though. I'm running out of space. I won't do it while you're watching. Don't worry. Pumpkin. See, here's Pumpkin. Wasteland junk, crafting time. Oh, see all these? I have so many. There's another two tone childs. I think I have one more somewhere. Mr. Pepper Peepers. It's cute. Another one of those one time childs. See how like they're the, like the same, like they're all crafting time, just different percentages. Crafting cost, same thing. So anyway, I'm gonna give, give you another look at them really fast. So if you um. Click over here on bonus. No. No. Sometimes they'll organize it better for you. It's not like, uh... yeah, you didn't do it. I don't know how to get it to organize. Like based on, like it'll organize. If you do this with a weapon, watch. You click stats, it gives you the best weapons in order from, you know, the highest uh, damage. You would think that it would give you, like, the best ranked pet, right? I mean, two childs, I know that's a legendary card. Uh, that's probably a legendary card. That's probably a legendary card. That's probably a legendary Okay, so it is. It's just, it's ranking them by legendary. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Um... That's a legendary card, that's a legendary card, that's a legendary. These are all legendary cards. This is my new one, the Mutt Face. I'm real excited about that one. Um, I wonder... Okay, so then they go down to rare here. This is the... This, now these are all rare cards. So crafting cost. Crafting time. So that's a rare one. Huh. So you can see I have percentages. These are the cool C17, that's time and cost. That's really neat. Another damage one. Damage resistance. Happiness. Healing speed. Health. And all the way through. 
Well, thanks for looking at all the pets.